This is gonna be the most painful video to make. So, we're all FNAF fans around these parts, right? FNAF, Johnny Blocks. They go together like PB and J. You know what doesn't go together like PB and J? FNAF and its movie. We just got news. Finally, let me add that, finally, I think the last time we got an update on the movie was back late last year, where Scott was like, oh yeah, guys, here's all the scrap scripts, here's the script we're going with, filming starts in the spring, and we will go back and take a look at that post. And then spring came and went, we got no update on filming, and we're kind of just waiting until Blumfest on October 1st to get a movie poster, a teaser trailer, an actual trailer, just something about the movie. Um, and only a few days before Blumfest on, again, October the 1st, we got this. It's an update, um, but it is not the update we wanted to hear. So join me, ladies and gentlemen, as we completely ruin whatever day you are having right now. Honestly, the only thing that can bring me happiness is maybe a click of the subscribe button and the like button. Thank you. Let's hop into it. So a couple hours ago, Collider released an article titled Five Nights at Freddy's Movie. Jason Blum reveals Chris Columbus is no longer directing, but the film is still happening. So right off the bat, not good signs. Even though the film is still happening, it lost its second director. It feels like we've been waiting forever for an update on the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. But thanks to Blumhouse CEO Jason Blum, we finally got some news on what's happening with the long-awaited adaptation and why the heck it's taking so long. By the way, in case you forgot or you're new to FNAF, the movie was announced in 2015. So yeah, it's only been a little bit of time since it was announced. During an interview with Collider for Amazon Prime Video, Video's upcoming Welcome to the Blumhouse film series, Blum revealed that Chris Columbus is no longer involved with the film. Chris Columbus is no longer attached, he confirmed in no uncertain terms. The Harry Potter and Home Alone filmmaker was first reported to write and direct back in February of 2018, about a year and a half after Blumhouse landed the rights. Bit of backstory, before Blumhouse was making the FNAF film, Scott went to Warner Brothers, and like the article just said, 2017 we got Blumhouse, 2018 we got Chris, and now 2021 we don't got Chris. Blum declined to confirm whether or not they have a new filmmaker attached, replying with a coy, that is classified information. So two things, either they don't have a frickin' director, of course apart from Scott and Jason Blum themselves, or they do and they like just got signed on and they're not ready to announce it yet, but uh, yeah, not good news. However, he had much more to say about the delay in getting the film off the ground, and as is so often the case, the delay all comes down to getting the script right. It's really tough to crack, Blum explained. We've written multiple scripts, and we've got where we're threading a needle, which is doing justice for FNAF and making Scott Cawthon happy. The only way that we would go about it is giving Scott. I don't want to do something that Scott doesn't like, let me say that in a different way. I don't have the right to do anything Scott doesn't like. Basically, Scott has kind of like the equivalent of the final cut, and it's taken longer than I hope to get the right story. And even collect New. That's a bit of a curious update, because in November 2020, FNAF creator Scott Cawthon shared a Reddit post detailing the various incarnations of the script to that date, and the film was set to shoot in spring 2021. In the post, Cawthon shared information on 10 different drafts of the project, leading up to what he dubbed the Mike screenplay. At the time, Cawthon said it had all the right characters, all the right motivations, all the right stakes. It's fun, it's scary, and it has a great central story. Based on Blum's update and the lack of news surrounding any cast or filming details, it sounds like Cawthon might have changed his mind about the Mike script. Of course, that's not confirmed because it's just, you know, Collider reporting the news, but I think it's pretty safe to say Scott ditched Mike. But Blum confirmed that the film is very much still in the works, ending on a optimistic note, we're a long way from giving up, and I'm confident eventually I will figure it out. Yeah, dude, just a crazy article, a crazy update. It's gonna be linked down below if you wanna go read it for yourself. And it's just, dude, it, it pains me. It really pains me. Because you go back to Scott's post, and he was so confident about the Mike screenplay. Basic setup. Hmm, this makes sense. Why didn't I think of this before? Problems? Actually, this is a good mix. It has the best pieces from all the previous screenplays. Not really any problems here. All the right characters, all the right motivations, all the right stakes. Verdict. Yeah, we're going with this one. 
Bum, 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 ba -da -da -dum, ba -da 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 -dum, bum. The bad news is that there won't be any more screenplays. Bum, 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 ba -da -da -dum, ba -da. Filming starts in the spring. Bum, 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 ba -da -da -dum. It's like I'm making a joke out of it, but obviously this. I don't know, man. I feel like this should not have happened. I think the thing that upsets me the most is that we got told, you know, in November 2020, coming up to a year ago, that they have a script and the filming starts in the spring. I'm- I'm so... I'm so upset that they didn't say anything sooner. Like, obviously, filming did not happen. I think it's obvious that since they are going back to writing a script, they don't have any cast members, they probably don't have any locations that they're filming at right now, and once again, they haven't filmed, I'm guessing. It's like, I get that Scott, you know, had left in, I believe, June or July, but even still, like, that's- <laughs> that's done with spring, that's moving on to summer. At that point, you should have realized, wait a second, this film is not going like what we had hoped for. Like, I get Scott is a, you know, perfectionist with the film. And he's he's been like that for, again, since 2015. Leaving Warner Brothers, getting Chris Columbus, going to Blumhouse. Going through, you know, t more than 10 scripts. At this point, probably like 15, 20, maybe more. That he says he's written, other people have written, and that he's denied, denied, denied. Like, I am... <laughs> I'm concerned for this film. Because at this point, we're not getting anything at Blumfest. The absolute best thing we're gonna get is, hey, here's the new director, or hey, you know, we have a script. But since this article just came out today, a couple days before Blumfest, that's not gonna freaking happen. Don't get me wrong, I'm hyped about the movie. I still really want the movie to happen. I'm happy that it's, you know, actually still happening. But we're back to square one. Six years later, we're back to square one. Without a script, and without a second director. Luckily, it seems like Scott is still, I don't know, I guess dead set on getting this out. At least, you know, Jason is. Um, and it seems like Scott is still working on the project, it seems, based off of the wording that Jason uses. So that's nice to know. I know a lot of people were concerned that the movie was going to get cancelled, or Scott was just going to leave it, you know, leave it up to Blumhouse, since he retired again back in June, July, but thankfully, it seems like he's still gonna be working on it, and whatever happens has to go through him, which I am happy about, but also at this point, a little nervous about. Because if Scott doesn't like something, it seems like he's, you know, denied, denied, denied. <laughs> it's actually insane. Like, I can't believe it's 2021, you know, going into, again, November 2021, nearly a year after they said, hey, we have a script. Filming starts soon in the spring. You know, no wonder we didn't get any leaked, you know, uh, set pictures or leaked casting because it never happened. I'm just very irritated by this whole thing. Like, we finally had progress. We finally had a script. The filming was going to start. And now we're back to square frickin' one. It sucks, dude. Like, this is the worst news I've heard in a long, long time. You know, even Security Breach getting delayed. I'm fine with that. Make it better. But this movie has been in development for more than half a decade. It's absolutely crazy. So, I mean, hopefully we can get some good updates soon. But at this point, we're just gonna have to keep waiting. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, I was supposed to put out Curse of Dreadbear on Switch tonight, but obviously this is a lot more important. And then also soon I have an update on a bunch of fanverse games, Flumpty's 3, Pop Goes Arcade, Pop Goes Evergreen, so stay looking forward to all those videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Stay positive. Goodbye. We're jumping in a rock until the sun goes down And the moon is shining forever and ever Forever and ever <laughs>